Hello everyone and welcome back. In case you missed it, check out the previous video for an update of what I've done up to this point. In this video, we, we conclude a writing unit tests for our web API. A uh, quick reminder, the resources I'm using can be found in the description section below this video. So here we are in the cars controller tests and now we want to write tests for CRUD methods in the cars controller. So a quick look at the cars controller right here and here is our get method and next we want to write want to ensure we test for the logic in the get method next up we want to ensure we test the logic in the get single right next we have we have a post right here and we have the put method the post upload we not got this is used for manual testing uh, as we discussed in previous videos you can check them out if you haven't done so and then here we have a put method and finally we have the delete method that we want to check out okay so without much further ado let's get started and so first CRUD test we're going to do is we're going to say get turns car models okay so we've discussed earlier what we're doing here so I don't need to repeat myself and so all we do is just um, it's the wrong one so what do we want we want to add tests to our test DB right here and of course this method needs to be an async method so that uh, it stops yelling at us so there we go. So the first thing we're going to say is car models. So let's await the cars controller and we get and let's extract the value from the cars controller. So we go ahead and get the cars from our test database. There's going to be await cars to array async. Okay. Now we can assert that is not now car models. And we can also assert our equal. Let's assert our equal cars count that's our expected count of cars should be the same as the car models returned counts okay same thing are equal then we have cars at element position three that is the third car in the array we take the id and we say car models element at so the third element let's check the id that is the same also we want to check that our oh, endpoint that is the link endpoint API slash images and we have the cars first element oh, sorry first element file name this should be the same as the car models element at first element in the array and there we go so the next thing is our equal once again cars one title car models element at one we get the name so oops this is supposed to be here is supposed to be car cars right so yeah that is the first uh, crowd test that we test many so let's run this test build succeeded oops let's try and build this uh, our test explorer is not picking this up I guess it hurts it just needs to be refreshed let me just close this real quick and open it again yep there it is we have a passing test next let us test um, this method right here in the cars controller let's see where it is um, um, right here we're getting single okay so this is the method we want to check and a car model is returned so over in the cars controller test so once again so we say get turns car model once again set it up let me just bring this up so that we can clearly see what's going on okay all right so first thing we do let's initialize our database our test database I should say with some data and that's what we do over here of course we need to make this method async which we do and now next up that's what I want to do okay so we say let's retrieve a car this is our db cars find a sync and let's take the test car id and so once that is done let's just retrieve the car model from the controller so we go to the cars controller and get so we pass the test car id and let's extract the value out of that and now we assert we just push this up assert that this is not null so we assert that the car model returned is not null. That is our test car model. And that 
they're equal. The car ID, our test car ID is the same as the car model ID that is returned, okay? So once we do that, once again, just observe right here on in between line 122 and 123. So press Control R and T to run the test. So let's do its thing and we have a passing test, okay? So that is looking good so far. Next up, let us test the post, okay? So in the post method, what do we want to do? Uh, once again, let's just say test M, let's prep this and we say post creates a car, okay? So once again, I'm just going to use my snippets here and so this time around what do we want we want um car create model so let me, let me just create it right here and we say we want a car create model okay okay so that means that our method needs to be async yes bring in the system io namespace and what else do we need and one more and we need to bring in make our method async okay so that resolves well and now I want to say, uh, what do I want to say? I want the action result. Let's get a weight cars controller and let's post passing the create car model. So that will return an action result. And from this action result, let's extract the car model. Okay. So we say created an action result. Yes, that's what we want. Let's cast our action result. And once we do that, we can extract our car model. And how do we extract our car model? We get the value and we again cast it to a car model all right that's looking good so next let's retrieve the cars from our database now so we say db cars to array async okay so now let's make our sessions here what we assert we assert that is not now first of all we do a self check that the car model returned is not now and we also assert that are equal so the car element uh, position one should be and uh, the id should be the same as the car model uh, id next we also set that our equal car that's one uh, title is the same as the car model the name and we also set our equal so what do we do we say endpoint value api oops api so images cars position one file name all right this should be the same as our car model link okay that's looking good and now we are ready to run the test okay so cross our fingers that everything runs okay so there we have it we have right here there we go our test is passing okay good stuff so far so good next up let us test the put method and so once again we say put put updates put updates uh, car car async oh no car uh, once again just select drive okay so here we go and so what do we do we need to populate our database our test database i should say with some data this time i just put in one car no need of putting a list okay so we initialize our test database with a single car of course this wants the method to be async and there we go so once we make our method async so we say go to the car let's retrieve a car from our database so we find async and the test car ID then let us create a car update model okay so we create a car update model and now we go we, we retrieve an action results right so how do we retrieve an action result we await the cars controller and we put our car sorry put our car ID and parse in the car update model that's good and so let's retrieve the car model just like we did in the post method All right so car update what we'll do accept it at action results let's cast our action results to that oops okay so there we go All right, so let's cast this and let's retrieve the value and cast it once again because what is returned is an object okay so that should give us back our car model from our controller and so we assert is not now and we say car model of course next we also assert that our equal and we say car id and then it's going to be car model id and then we assert our equal so car update model name and the car title should be the same 
correct okay and finally the links okay assert that are equal so we say we go to the endpoint new the api and we say images slash car the file name okay this should be the same as the car model car model link that is returned from our test results so yeah i think that that is pretty much what we want to test and so we do a quick run of a test check out here line number 197 that's what i'm looking at and our test passes okay so far so good next let us test the delete method so i say test method once again and in the delete method what we want to do we say uh, delete removes uh, delete removes car okay so we do the same thing we've been doing um just bring in our snippet and that will be that so in a previous video i explained exactly what we are doing over here so i don't need to repeat myself you can check out the video i think it was video the previous video right okay so once we do that so once again we need to populate our test database with some data so this time i'm just uh, initializing with a single piece of uh, data and once we do that it will complain yes this method needs to be async that's cool so let me scroll up a bit and now what do we want to do okay we do all that and so all right so we go to the cars controller let me think for a second over here Okay, so we say await. Um, oh, I want to check for the cars. Yes, um, save our cars. Let's check for the cars first. We await DB cars to array async. That's the first thing I want to do. And the second thing is now we can go to our controller, cars controller. And uh, then now we can delete our car. So car at element zero, sorry. We go to cars and retrieve the first car in our uh, array. And let's get the id so we pass that to our controller next we try and retrieve a car now since it's only one car that we added to our test database so if we delete this single car what do we expect when we do this so let us try and fetch some data so the way to do that we just say any async all right so that should be false okay because there's nothing we have just sent a delete request by calling the delete method and passing our test car test cars id okay so down here we say assert is not now and we say cars okay so and we say is false and the car should be false okay so let's check this move once again so we retrieve the cars from our test database right here now of course we populated our test database with a single car so that means when we call this uh, cars to array at this point we should only have a single car so with that single car retrieve we go to the cars and of course we pass the id of the first car which is just a single car and now after we do that, our delete action method should have removed the car from our test database, okay? So here, we go ahead and check if there's a, any car in our database and store it here. At this point, the check should not check out and that's why we say down here that the car is false. All right, so let's run this test real quick. Oops, I didn't mean to debug it, so it will take a minute. Ah, it passes with flying colors. Okay, so there we go. One more test. How do we test for um bad requests okay i'm not sure if it's really necessary just but for you know demo purposes i'm just gonna do it again okay so test m all right so we want to check the get returns bad request all right and i will say int id so this i don't want to use a test method this time i want to do a data test method all right and so we only expect positive values to our controller so let's give some negative values so we say data row data row let's pass a zero and we also say data row let's pass in a negative number okay all right so that this two will be passed as variables to our data test method so this is just a, a nice way of doing several tests in one all right so once again oops, I'm sorry not that so once again let's go ahead and prep our variables for our constructor and so e we say action result so we await we await the cars controller get passing the test ids and let's extract the results okay of course it's complaining because this method is not async so let's make this method async and that should go away which does so status code right so we'll say bad request object results Let's cast our action result to our oops, action result. Right. 
we say now once new let, let's let, let's extract the status code from the object and find its value and that should return as an int okay so we use this int for our testing purposes so we assert our equal status code status codes yes that's what we want is by request should be the same as the status code that we have retrieved all right so let's test this real quick uh-huh so here we are so let's run this test okay three test passed and uh, it doesn't reveal here immediately but we open our test explorer okay so that does not show but it shows that it was a parse okay so that is it with a unit test so we have a pretty large part of our code covered by unit test in case you're wondering this is a manual post test so we don't test that okay so if we have a look at all the methods we have here as a matter of fact let me do this let me just run all the tests here yeah okay so here they are so we have all the tests covered here and if we look at all the other objects we have tests over here we have endpoint covered in tests and cache key our db initializer and our car context only the db set is involved in tests yeah so that is good now our api has some insurance in the form of unit tests we are ready to perform cloud operations which i will cover in the next series of videos that follow so hit that like subs like and subscribe and make sure you hit the bell notification so that you get notified of the next video as i do my best to upload a new video every monday also before you go please share your thoughts or comments in the comment section below Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.